I used the Sony 90mm macro lens this weekend at this butterfly garden. I got some pretty nice butterfly photos with this lens that I wanted to share with you. If you are considering getting this 90mm macro lens, well, I could say I personally like it, and I have no regrets buying it. I own both the Sony 90mm lens and the Canon 100mm macro lens, and there's not much difference between the two as far as image quality. So let's go into Lightroom and take a look at these butterfly photos. So this first one, I didn't do much editing on this and it looks really nice. Um, the contrast is pretty good. If we zoom in, and this is a one-to-one, -one, I mean, nailed the focus right here on this face. And if we go into two-to-one, I mean, that's pretty awesome detail. So go back out to fit, and it looks great. I like it. Um, over here in the next one, so it's it's kind of the same same plant, just a uh, different butterfly. And what I noticed on this one, if you zoom in, here's one to one. I don't know what this is, but there's some kind of yellow dot. Go to two to one on the butterfly. I'm not quite sure if this is like some kind of, I don't know, parasite or something, but it looks pretty interesting. One of the reasons why I like shooting macro is I do like shooting a 2.8 because I just really like the bokeh that happens with macro. So even though like, yes, the, the wings might not be all super sharp because I'm shooting at 2.8, it doesn't bother me at all. I like the effect um, and I just really like how the background just falls off. Here's the same butterfly, but just a different angle. And here we see like a really nailed the focus on this one. Now this one's probably my favorite out of the entire series of photos here. I did have to remove, let me show you what it looks like before and after. Here's the before on the left, here's the after after um, doing some of the post processing. So we see that I got rid of a lot of the green and then I did go in and kind of brighten up the butterfly a little bit because uh, the exposure was a little dark. So we'll zoom in to two to one and we see the sharpness is pretty good with this lens. And this is a 2.8, you know? Uh, this next one's pretty good too. Uh, a little bit more green than I would like. Let me see. So this is what it looked like before the editing. Yeah, so I shot it really underexposed. So I brightened it up a little bit, got rid of some of the green, like desaturated a little bit, um, and then brighten up the butterfly. That's usually, I don't do too much editing um, other than that. So there's also birds at this butterfly garden. And this bird was just right above my head. And it's just a really neat shot. So did not focus to, let's see, I don't think I got the focus right on the eye. I think I got the focus more on the beak area, but it's still, when you go full screen or full uh, picture, you can't really tell. It looks sharp enough. This is cool. Checking out how it grabs the, uh, the branch. That's neat. I really like this photo and the and the uh, other one I'm about to show. I like this photo because uh, this butterfly is in flight right next to this one. And basically this next one, see, I, I can't tell which one I like the most. Like this one, you, you can kind of see the butterfly a little bit, you know, just a different angle. You got the um, tail more that it's flying, whereas this one, it looks like it might be just like laying on a leaf, but it's not. It's in mid flight. So, but the thing about this one is I don't know what's going on right here in this area. This like uh, like the head area, but it kind of looks like like I don't know like this area right here. I'm not quite sure. It just looks off. So that area right there is the only reason why I'm not 100% sold on this photo, and that I would rather go with this photo instead. You know the focus on this photo, pretty good. It nailed this guy dead on. And this one is just a nice butterfly. I didn't see too many of these. These were this one was a hard one to get, but I did like the pattern of the the wings, the white and the the orange. And then this next one is just another another regular butterfly. Um, I did like this one because the wing is kind of like uh, tore a little bit here, so I like that. It gives it some character. And this one's another one that I really really like. So. It just so happened, like this butterfly was coming in for a landing or something, and I got it perfectly where, I mean, you can just see him mid-flight. Now it's it's a little hazy because there's a leaf like right in front of me too, so I'm kind of shooting through this leaf. 
That's why it's a little hazy. It's it's not that it's out of focus. It's just hazy. I mean, it is a little bit also out of focus because the focus is here on this guy. Um, but still, though, like, man, this is such a good shot. Like, it's this butterfly is perfectly aligned. And his little feet are just, like, dangling. It's so cool. So I definitely like this one. This is one of my favorites from, from this trip. And this is kind of the same leaf, that same butterfly. One actually landed right behind it. And we see that the focus did nail. Did it? I think it focused. Yeah, it looks like it focused pretty good on this butterfly. We can tell that this butterfly is not in focus as much. but And then this is just without any butterflies around it. It's pretty good. So, yeah, even when you zoom in, like, I guess that's a drop of water right here on its mouth area. And this next butterfly, so it's just, this is just a green butterfly. I don't particularly like this photo that much. I like the butterfly, but there's just way too much green. So if you like the color green, you might like this butterfly. Here's another, another butterfly photo where the butterfly is flying over this butterfly. Okay, it's like they're pestering each other. So like this butterfly is pestering this butterfly. I don't know. I think really what they're trying to do is mate, but it's it's more funny. <laughs> it's more uh, comical to think that they're just going around pestering each other. It kind of gives it like an abstract vibe to it when you shoot 2.8 and things just are kind of more blurry. I personally like that. I know some people, when they shoot with macro, they don't shoot in 2.8. They shoot more in like, um, like the F8. Uh, range or f10 try to get more uh, in focus but no i really i really like the 2.8 look same one just a different position of the butterfly i think between the two i probably like this one the most because the wings are spread but this one makes it look like it's flying more so so here's just another another photo just like the other one really not much to talk about on this one i guess it's got probably just f got done feeding it looks like it has uh, some stuff here that's cool. Like I like the fact that you can just zoom in even more so than what the macro is giving you. And this one's just a flower that I thought was really nice, um, nice looking flower. And this one's another a, kind of a different butterfly, orange. Um, I can't, you know, I'm not really sure if I like this photo or not, but I included it just because it was a different looking butterfly. This type of butterfly was, there was a lot of these in the butterfly garden, so that's why there's so many pictures of this type of butterfly. It's not the same butterfly. Um, there are different ones, but and so there's more birds too. So this one was uh, this bird was like right next to me So it turned around and took a photo of that Nailed the nailed the face and the eye got a tack sharp on that one. That's pretty good And here's this one This one's not a hundred percent sharp, but It still looks pretty good when you're at full full screen and then one last one this one, which also I don't think I nailed it on its eye. It looks like I nailed it right here on its beak. But you know, it's it's always interesting to like look at these things like so close up. Like you can see the individual strands in these feathers. It's really cool. Check out the claws on that. So that's pretty much the images I wanted to show you from this 90 millimeter macro lens. And so here are some photos that I like the most and I want to know which one you like the most. So vote by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.